Hello, welcome to the class for mass and weight. We're going to look at some equations today and how to use them, um, and also explanations of what this actually means. Okay, so I'm Laura Lewis, didn't say my name then. So we're going to look at understanding the differences between mass and weight, understand that weight is a force, it's measured in newtons, and calculate the weight on the Earth and on different planets. Okay, so I'm going to write some things. We've got a blank PowerPoint uh, slide. So what's mass and what's weight? So mass is very important in physics because a lot of the time in everyday language, we use them interchangeably. We say this, we mean the same thing, but in physics, it means something different. So mass is always measured in kilograms. So kg, we'll be quite familiar with that if you do any cooking. Okay, measured in kilograms. So kg for kilograms. So mass is the amount of matter in an object. Okay. Is the amount of matter an object of matter? Okay. It is, the, it is the same everywhere in the universe. Okay. It is the same everywhere in the universe. So, example, if you are if you've got a box of chocolates, it's five, that's a big box of chocolates. <laughs> it's five kilograms, it's Eastern recording this. It's from five kilograms on Earth. It'd be five kilograms on the moon, five kilograms on one well, of the moons of Jupiter, five kilograms anywhere, okay? So everywhere in the universe. Okay. Doesn't matter where you take it, it's going to be the same. Whereas weight, so weight is a force. Measured in Newtons, like Isaac Newton, named after him. Okay, is, is a force measured in Newtons. Okay. Capital N for Newtons, nice and easy. And depends where you are. Okay, so we can describe that. So it depends if you're on the moon or on Earth, somewhere else in space. Okay, so we're going to get more. A little bit more detail on that, okay? So let's new slide. So we've got a formula for weight. So weight, we've got newtons oh, equals um, my computer's beeped at me. Weight equals uh, weight equals mass. Sorry, mass in kilograms times gravitational field strength. Okay. Okay. Often don't worry, we shorten this to small g. <laughs> you have to keep writing that out every time. Shorten to that g, okay? So w equals m times g. So on earth, g can be taken to be, so g is about 10, okay? So g is about 10, it's actually um, acceleration. We don't have to worry too much about units there. So on the moon, Okay, uh, G equals about 1.8. Okay, so what does this really tell us then? So A, let's talk about that, that big box of chocolates. A five kilogram box of chocolates. Most well, big ones you get at Christmas or Easter, I suppose. I have seen Easter chocolate tins though, so any eggs. Okay, um, so on earth. It's, it's very straightforward, so it's nothing to, to worry about. You'll never have to remember on other planets. If they want me to work it out on exam, they'll tell you. You have to remember the moon's gravity or anything like that. You just have to remember how to do it. So on Earth, so weight equals uh, five kilograms of the mass times 10, the gravitational field strength. Weight is 50 newtons. Easy as that, okay? 50 newtons. So on the moon, okay? So W equals five kilograms times 1.8. Okay, so you can work out that. So if you if you need to calculator, I mean, I could do my, I think I've done this uh, calculation a few times, but if you want to use a calculator, okay, you can, because physics exams, you always get a calculator. So don't worry if you can't work something out. So five times 1.8. Nine. Okay, so it's like say it's like times it by ten and divide it by two, isn't it? Nine newtons. Okay, so um, 
Let's do another one example. Okay, so let's write the equation at the top again. Times G. So if a um, I don't know, let's go for an animal. If a cat <laughs> has a weight of um, 100 newtons, what is its mass? Okay, so let's put that in. So weight, 100 newtons. We assume we're on Earth, okay? And it's just told otherwise, assume we're on Earth. Uh, so M times 10. You can see here, we're going to divide both sides by 10. It's 100 divided by 10. Okay, so 100 Newtons, but normally we put units in, is 10 again. So 10 kilograms. It's got, obviously, that's a, that's a very big cat, but that's the, uh, that's the example. So yeah, it's nothing really, it's more complicated than that with mass and weight. It's just knowing the difference. Okay, so thank you for listening to the video. Hope to see you another one and goodbye.